Hey, this is Jeff, and today I want to do an experiment to test an idea I had in another series I'm doing where I'm modding Fallout 3 to make 100% no-kill run possible. Specifically, can you find the GNR Studio using math? If you ask the right questions, Morty already all but tells you where James went. Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of DC. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. You don't get a map marker unless you bribe him or hack his terminal, but it occurred to me that we might not need one. We know from the scene with Gob banging on the radio that GNR's signal has limited range. Now, a circle can be defined by any three points on its circumference, so if we find three spots on the map where we lose the signal, GNR should be at the center of the circle defined by those three points. It turned out, well, this is a minor spoiler for the no-kill run because the next episode isn't even finished yet, but I realized pretty quickly that much exploring was going to be too dangerous and time-consuming, so I ended up bribing Moriarty. When that episode comes out, probably next week, you'll hear me speculating about whether or not this technique would really work, but I decided to do a little sidebar video to find out, so if you watch it, you'll already have the answer. In the interest of not doing a lot of setup, I'm using the same character from a save at the end of the last episode. I'm just going to turn on God Mode and use console commands where necessary to speed things up. Our three points should preferably be as far away from each other as possible to increase accuracy. We know the signal peters out right around Megaton. Yeah, right in front of the front gate, basically. So we can use the Megaton map marker as our first point. We know GNR is somewhere in the DC ruins, so we'll take the next reading somewhere north of there. Well, that's cool. We actually get an on-screen message when the signal is completely gone. We're not quite to Canterbury Commons, so I'll set a custom marker to remember that. Although, we were hearing static for quite a way, so we should go back to Megaton and do the same thing there. In fact, I'm just going to take a screenshot since it looks like the circle is going to be too big to fit on a single Pip-Boy screen, so I'll probably have to stitch them together with GIMP. Oh yeah, the signal lost message pops up a good bit west of Megaton. That's a lot more precise than me trying to tell if there's still a tiny bit of music there under the static. Take a screenshot and then find a point on the south of the map. Okay, this is way farther west than I was expecting it to be, just west of the Nuka-Cola plant. Take another screenshot, we'll stitch them together and see what we get. <laughs> when I saw this, I laughed out loud because I'm an idiot. The center of the circle is obviously nowhere near GNR, but if you don't recognize the location, let's follow the marker. It's somewhere inside this wall, which is the wall around the Washington Monument where Three Dog sends you to fix his transmitter. Duh. So the answer to the question, can you find GNR with math, is no. But I am impressed how close that method got us to the actual transmitter. I mean, look, the custom marker I said is almost right on top of the map marker for the Washington Monument. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for listening, children. This is Three Dog, Ow! and you're listening to Galaxy News Radio. We're Radio Free Wasteland, and we're here for you.